pretty Oh, easy. look at that one. Grab the one in the middle out. That one's crazy. Ooh, this one is really pretty. Holy cow. They're all really nice. Ooh, doggy. Pretty to just shed today and looks absolutely incredible. The thing that I find crazy about these animals is how quickly they can change. I've talked about it before where sometimes overnight she just gets more spots or something's changed. Well, all these little gray spots and huge gray splotches kind of developed out of nowhere. Some of the ones were yellow just a week or two ago and went from yellow to gray. She still has a little bit of yellow in her, but the majority of the yellow actually turned gray and she looks stunning. I don't know, that gray, black, white combination just is absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. Regardless, I just wanted to show off this absolutely incredible girl. Oh, we have a shipment of snakes that I want to unbox with Lori and Noah. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog. What are you doing? <laughs> a little family time <laughs> unboxing. Lori ordered some snakes, and I figured why not get the entire. Oops, watch out, Noah. You know how dangerous I am with a knife. Everyone, everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Lori, do you know? Do you remember? Let me put that knife down. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember what you ordered, Lori? Uh, yeah. I don't. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, big, oh, there's two boxes. There's two That's boxes. Why. That's ah. why. All ball pythons. Let's see what we have. I already cut it so you can Okay. Have you, want, you don't want me to have a knife. You can cut both sides. <laughs> okay, so you take a bag. Okay. You I'll take a bag. It. Do you want me to read it or no? Uh, you could if you want. No, okay. you can. Well, I'm going to read it just because well, I don't know anything. Well, read it once you open it up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm Let's see which one bag we got the best bag. Don't I think, look at mine. I think look at your own bag. bags. I my bag's gonna well, be I didn't even good. get to pick my bag, so. Well, I didn't pick either. I we just got, gave it to you guys. You, I didn't even can look. Can you scooch in? No. Okay. <laughs> scooch over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're a little tight here. Okay, who's going first? I'm gonna go you first. Go first. I'm gonna go first. first. Ooh, what do I got? Ooh, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, you got some good stuff. Of course I like, he did. I like of that jean. Ooh, oh, ooh, I like that jean. Whoa! Look at that! Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous! Oh my goodness, this stuff! Wow! Is so this happens to be a spider Mojave Russo, which I find to be really interesting. Did you know it was going to have pattern like this? I did not. I guess I like I've it. never seen one. I thought it would just be patternless. I don't understand yeah, it, how the spider gene like would have Theori that. Theoretically, but. this should be a blue-eyed Lucy. Right. But in all honesty, that's way cooler than yeah. a blue-eyed Lucy. That thing is awesome. Yeah. This here is a Phantom Mystic, which is kind of like a Mystic Potion-y type of thing. Yeah. That is really really beautiful and then finally i just have this clown ball python so i tell you what guys i i was really happy with my bag you go yeah. next Lori. I, I bet you were <laughs> okay let's... oh guess what i got three normals <laughs> <laughs> whoa what Ooh, the that's heck actually is that? really pretty that looks awesome that's an enchi lesser yes i would whoa. guess that this the is the enchi lesser which is very nice a really pretty one too i like how the pattern fades oh my gosh yeah, gets yeah no enchi and lesser are great combinations Bumblebee? and something else. Uh, this oh, is a fire, fire bee. So we have a fire bee here, which is really cool. Obviously, it's fire, pastel, and spider. Okay, one more thing. Oh, that's another Enchi thing. Lesser. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, the lighter one might see. be the pastel one, yeah. You so this is actually the Enchi Lesser. And the first one that we thought was so beautiful is actually got pastel in it, too, which oh, makes a lot of sense because yeah. that was a really gorgeous snake, and I thought that there was no way that was just an Enchi Lesser. So okay. uh, nevertheless, pretty good. bag was nice, too. Okay, awesome. Noah, what do you got? Uh, my bag looks like I'm gonna be bleeding after, so... <laughs> it's a feisty bag. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all the same. Oh, my... oh, look at that. You hit the money load there. Okay, so this is the Miguel bag. This is uh, the Miguel bag because he loves clowns. He loves clown stuff. <laughs> so these are all pastel clowns here. Look at the difference between this yeah. one and these. That's pretty crazy, That's right? That's why I thought they weren't the same because yeah. they look so different. Yeah, they well, look so different. Well, you know so as different. well as I do, pastel varies. Yeah, there's a lot of yep. polymorphism. But nevertheless, I tell you what, Lori, you did good so far. These are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Know, wow. We still have a handful of bags left, so uh, we are not done yet. <laughs> you take that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, you guys can't choose. You gotta take what I give you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ooh, these are kind of cool. Now, these turned out really nice. These are actually super pastel oh, sugars. Dang. Ooh, doggy. These like things the are sugar. beautiful. Though, and they, they can vary, so you never really know what you're gonna get. I didn't see pictures. These are nice. Those are What's nice that ones. One? That this one's... is a just a banana. <laughs> banana is it in shed? Yeah. It is in shed. Okay, because like I was like, that should be called uh like blood orange or something. Though, <laughs> it actually it looks very... it's gonna be very orange though. Yeah. It's got it a has... lot of really pretty. It's a cool look. That's really good. So that's good. So that is the whole first box. 
Lori and Noah are on to the second box. Right, what do you, you go guys first. have? You got the basic stuff I that did. we I love. Ooh, yep. bunch of nanners. Bunch of bananas. <laughs> and again, these guys can vary a lot too. Some are more yellow, some have more orange, but Okay. All right, there's a whole bunch of bananas. <laughs> yes. And everyone knows that, I tell you what, we sell so many bananas because they're really a good starter mutation now. They're relatively cheap. They're unbelievably beautiful. Yes. So it doesn't seem, no matter how many bananas we get, we always sell out really exactly. quick. Exactly. Okay, I got a transformer ball python ball. <laughs> oh my um, gosh, what are whoa, these Oh, look at that one. Grab the one in the middle out. That one's crazy. Ooh, this one is really pretty. Holy cow. They're all really nice though. These are all really good. What That's gotta have on your bag. What is that? That's oh, a lesser pewter. Oh, okay. Look so, at how crazy that is. So this is they actually a lesser out. pewter, but a lot of times the lesser pewters won't have so much yellow like and this one orange. does. I mean, just take a look at all the yellows and oranges. That's crazy. This is what a normal lesser pewter would typically look like, which is pretty typical. Actually, they call these lithium ball pythons, but look at the two together. I mean, that's a pretty radical difference. I mean, yeah. I've never seen one with so much yellow. That's... I mean, that is crazy. I almost wonder if there's like an NG gene or something like that in there because that's just too insane to just be a pewter lesser. No, it's pretty. And a normal banana. And another nanner. The rest of the shipment is just a bunch of bananas with the exception of this one bag. You guys keep pushing me out the front. Because nobody wants to see you. <laughs> that's not true. Ooh, these you are nice. I is? like these. I do. These are, okay, this is either an, a vanilla cream or an amaretti. Okay. Which is basically the difference is one is a fire to vanilla and the other is a flame to vanilla. And the flame and the fire are almost the same gene. They're as amarettis. Far as, yeah, they're amaretti's. <laughs> so there you go. Really beautiful. And again, that's an allelic <laughs> animal that uh, when you breed the flame or the fire to a vanilla, you'll get these allelically. Uh, so it's not like a double codominant. Even though flame and vanilla are both codominant, these aren't like a double codominant. They're allelic, like a super stripe. I just, let, I won't say any more about that because I'm confusing everyone. And then what do you have there? Another banana. Another uh, banana. This one isn't as uh, beautiful, but I'm sure it's got a great personality. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I stop it. That's horrible. This so, one is Bob the banana. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, guys. Uh, the Bartrick family unboxing a shipment that Lori got. These are beautiful, Lori. Get them up on the website. Uh, I expect them to be up in the next 30 or 40 minutes. No, the truth is we'll set these guys up. We quarantine them. We treat them for mites. And then eventually, eventually we'll feed them up and make sure that they're in good shape before we go. So a couple weeks from now, you guys will see these on the website. Check out this new addition to the Reptarium. This is actually Bruce and Jessica's Dominican Red Mountain Boa. Now these used to be an Epicrate Stratus, but recently they changed it to a Chilobothrus Stratus. Regardless, these are absolutely incredible. And then of course there's the Haitian boas, which are really basically the same thing, just a little bit different color. Absolutely stunning animal. So I'm super excited that people can come into the Reptarium now and see an animal like this that you really don't see very often. Now these are actually live bearers. And funny enough, when I was like 15 years old working at a pet shop, we had a Haitian boa that actually had babies out of the cage. We are finding babies for like three months. I think we ended up finding 22 little tiny babies before we kind of gave up. I don't know how many she might have had, but it was really cool. Now as babies, these guys can be a little tough because they're really more lizard eaters as babies. So getting them started on rodents can be a little bit tricky, but once they get going, they are really cool. So I couldn't be more happy to have this animal represented at the zoo. I don't think I've showed off Jeffrey, the hypo granite berm in a while. Look at how big he is getting and how absolutely incredible he looks. This is the one that my buddy Miguel from Always Evolving Python sent and I couldn't be happier. I mean, I think it's maybe one of the prettiest of all of the Burmese mutations. I really like just the simple albino Burmese, to be honest with you, but this is definitely in the close running. I mean, that thing is gorgeous. And uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but his name is Jeffrey, because we just thought it looked like Jeffrey the Giraffe. And heck, while I'm updating Burmese, this is our ivory berm right here. And you guys know that I'm a huge How to Train a Dragon fan. Obviously, we have Night Fury, we have Toothless. I think because of the recent How to Train a Dragon, I'm gonna call this one Light Fury. You know, I mean, after all, it is a white Burmese python. It has a little yellow on it, but uh, let me know if you guys like that name. Let's go ahead and stick with the unboxing theme for the day. Uh, Lori got something, and of course it says, please wait to open these, because I wanted to see them. So go ahead. And you're welcome, them. because I, I didn't want to wait. And just for the record, I think I know what they are, but I never actually even saw the design you did. So this is the very first time that I've seen anything about these. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. excited about it. I know, right? Let's go. See. Oh, Ooh. okay. They are not, I thought they'd be in boxes, but that's oh okay. Reptarium coffee mugs. Oh my gosh. Because who that. doesn't that love a coffee up. mug? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gosh. on both yeah, sides. I got sides. two sides. Oh, I didn't even know. Bam. Bam, look at that. These are, nice, these are cool. They kind of they kind of match our floor. Did you notice that? <laughs> 
the blue, too much not blue. purple, but blue. <laughs> There's somebody that comments on every single one of my videos, and they're like, "I hate the reptarium floors." So, I like yeah. it. For those of you guys that hate our floor, you probably won't like our mugs, but the ones that love our floor will love this. I actually, I think they're really cool, Lori. Like That's awesome. No, I love them. I couldn't be happier. They turned out really good. The color and uh, it's a nice big coffee oh, mug. You, which, these guys like which, coffee. Yes, if you're gonna have a cup of coffee, make it a big cup of coffee. <laughs> it's awesome. So the big question, uh, when are they gonna be on site and do you know the price yet? No and no. No and no what? They're okay, wait. Be on site? I'll be on the site next week and I am not quite sure of the price yet. Okay, so keep an eye on that. I'll try to make sure by the time this video is up that they're at least on the website. So uh, check out the reptarium.com slash shop. Holy moly, take a look at this ovulation right here. Ooh, that's okay, mama. I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. That is a monster ovulation right there. And we have so many ball pythons that are ovulating. I mean, clutches are coming very soon. I couldn't be more excited about this year. Can't wait till we start getting those eggs so we can start seeing babies again. Oh my God, it's so cool to finally be at that stage where we are so close to production. It is crazy how fast things happen with colubrids. With pythons, you start breeding them as months of follicle growth and eventually ovulations with colubrids. We've just had them out for a couple weeks and look at this hypo lavender corn snake is already starting to swell up with eggs. There are so many colubrids right now just looking so plump. They're just a week, week and a half away from a pre-lay shed and then ultimately a week after that they actually lay their eggs. It is crazy cool and a hypo lavender corn snake is one of my favorite of all the corn snakes. I don't know why, just because it has that purplish look to it, especially as a baby. This is a beautiful snake and again, it is amazing that she's already so chuck full of eggs. And honestly, there are so many clutches that I'm super excited about. I hope this girl goes. She's got some pretty advanced follicles. She is a pastel lesser clown ball python, and she's actually being bred to a pastel leopard clown ball python. So it'd be really cool to get the pastel lesser leopard clown ball python because they're absolutely incredible. So uh, with any luck, this girl will produce for us. This is another one that is in that same group that's being bred to the pastel leopard clown, but this is actually an Enchi Pastavi Het for clown. So again, it's an Enchi, it's a pastel, it's a Mojave, and it's Het for clown being bred to the pastel leopard clown. So in theory, half the babies will be clown with a bunch of mutations, and the other will be the non clown with a bunch of mutations. But I tell you what, there could be some insane combinations in this clutch if this girl goes, and she's looking pretty chunky. And with all this talk about colubrid breeding season, don't forget that we have tons of leopard geckos breeding too. This is actually a Max Snow Hypo White and Yellow Eclipse. What a beautiful animal, and it's chunky full of eggs too. I think we'll get our first clutches of leopard gecko eggs probably next week because they happen super quick. And then you guys know there are times we pull close to 200 eggs in a day. We only pull eggs twice a week, but there are times where we're getting four or 500 eggs from our leopard gecko colony and there's gonna be some beauties. Just take a look at this one. And I don't update you guys nearly enough on my Spotted's, Children's, and Stimson's pythons. I think they're really cool. For those of you people that are looking for a small python, these are an Australian kind of pygmy python. This is an adult female right here. So it's really cool, especially for like kids or for parents that don't want kids to have a big snake. Maybe a ball python still is a little bit too big. This is obviously a species of animal that is incredible. And again, this would be the spotted, but there's also children's and stimpsons, which are pretty much the same size, just a little bit different color. They all look really kind of similar. They're all antaracea. So we're having a really good year. We have a ton of spotted children's and stimpsons that are gravid. So again, this is a great consideration if you want a really cool Australian python. Guys, do me a favor really quick. Can you go down in the comments? Tell me like what your favorite snake is. I'm just always curious about that. Like what is the snake that you always wanted? Your dream snake. I want to know about it. Maybe I have it. I'll showcase it. Or maybe it's something I should add to the collection here or at the Reptarium. So again, go down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite snake is. <laughs> Doggy. This is one of those rat snakes that just kind of burns your eyes. Oh my gosh. And look at the white freckling in its side. This is one of those scaleless Texas rats that we held on to last year. And oh my my gosh, that thing is getting better and better with age. I can't wait till this breeze next year. I tell you what guys, it's been a really fun day. I hope that you had a great time. I sure know I did. And actually in the next couple days, we're gonna be doing some traveling out to the East Coast to do a pretty fun collab. I'm pretty excited about it, as well as going to visit Steve from Leaping Leeches. He's got some incredible animals. I'm so excited to see his place. Have an absolutely amazing day. You guys mean the world to me. Remember to be kind to someone. I promise, I'll see you guys tomorrow.